I'm Beth Benny and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be making a Thai curry cottage pie and this is something I invented about three or four years ago after I had a really strange dream where I was in MasterChef and in the dream I created a lychee profiterole and when I woke up in the morning I had loads and loads of ideas for Thai fusion recipes and um, this Thai curry cottage pie was one of them. It's a recipe that I've tried out with my friends and they really liked it. They have asked for the recipe and I have never shared it until now. So um, yeah, let's get started. The ingredients you need today are 500 grams of mince. It can be any kind of mince, it can be pork, it can be um, beef and it works really well with corn. Um, we have 400 millilitres of coconut milk, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of Thai red curry paste which you can buy from any local supermarket or oriental superstore. Um, we have one potato and one sweet potato. You can mix these up any way you want to. So you can have two potatoes or two sweet potatoes. But I've decided to go for one of each um, just to kind of reduce my carb intake um, because I've eaten a lot over Christmas. And this one is just one that fits nicely into the size of your palm if you want to get an idea of weight. I've peeled and chopped the potatoes and put them into a pan of boiling water. I'm now going to add a, um, about half of the vegetable oil into the pan. I'm just going to swirl the vegetable oil around. The pan is on a medium to low heat. And now I'm going to add the mince and I'm going to fry it. The mince will produce some excess water which you want to um, drain using a metal sieve and then return it to the heat um, and fry it until golden brown and I just give it another minute longer and then I can transfer it into my Pyrex dish. So the mince is now in the Pyrex dish and we are going to um, put the remaining vegetable oil into the pan. and add the curry paste and then turn the heat back on and again you want a medium to low heat and you want to gradually stir the, um, the curry paste and use as much of the oil as you can to make sure that the curry paste doesn't burn Gradually add in the curry, uh, the coconut milk. So add it a little bit at a time. This one is really thick. So add it in bit by bit. Really mix it in together. As you can see, I'm just adding it in bit by bit, very gradually, so that it reduces the heat in the pan and it brings it back up gently so you don't burn the curry paste. And then once it's all mixed in, just add a little bit more and make sure you get all, see that down the bottom there's quite a lot of water, make sure you use that as well. So I'm just going to pour a bit of that water in now and really mix it together. As you can see the more I add in the coconut milk it's getting lighter and lighter in colour and you just want to let that simmer really really gently on a low heat. I haven't used all of the coconut milk as you can see there's only maybe about a couple of tablespoons left in the can but if you want you can save that and put that into the mash. The potatoes and the sweet potatoes are done so I'm going to turn that off the heat and I'm going to drain it and make it into a mash. 
The curry sauce has been um, simmering for about um, five minutes and now I'm going to transfer it into the Pyrex dish with the meat. So now you need to give it a really good mix and thoroughly coat all the mince with the curry sauce. Now going to top the sweet potato and potato mixture on top of the mince and the curry sauce. And then you want to just spread the mixture on top and really just get it right into the corners. Once it's nice and smooth you can um, grate some cheese, um, any kind of cheddar will do. Um, we like mature cheddar on top but if you don't like cheese or you don't eat cheese um, then it tastes really nice plain um, as well. So I have roughly a large handful of grated mature cheddar cheese and I'm just going to sprinkle this very well over the top and that can go into the oven at gas mark 5 for approximately half an hour or until the cheese goes bubbly and crisp. So the pie's been in the oven for about half an hour. My little Heath is awake and I am going to dish this up with some carrots, courgette and some broccoli which is in the pan and I need to turn that up a bit and yeah so that's what it looks like when it's finished. watching today I really hope you enjoyed my Thai curry cottage pie if you did please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because it is free and you will get updates whenever I upload um, a new video don't forget to check out my blog for more details for pictures and for the recipe which will also be in the description box below and for links to my social media and I really hope to chat to you there Bye-bye.